Hello, in this tutorial we're going to look at something called a CSS which we can use to style our web pages. In the past few tutorials we've looked at how to um, put text into a HTML web page, how to format that text, so how to um, make text bold, underline italics, um, how to use bullet points or lists, and we've also looked at things like adding images, uh, sound, videos and links to our web pages, but our web pages haven't really looked that exciting so far. So they look pretty boring. They've just got plain text and nothing too uh, interesting. And that's where CSS comes in. So CSS allows you to apply a theme or a style to your web pages to make them look um, much better, much more exciting. So CSS stands for cascading style sheets and there's uh, three different methods of adding CSS to a web page. First method is inline styling, second method is internal style sheets, and the third method is using external style sheets. And in this video we're going to use the first two methods, inline styling and um, internal style sheets. The first method, internal, oh sorry, inline styling, is where you apply the style attribute within the actual HTML tag on the web page. So I've got um, a heading here, a paragraph, and another paragraph. First heading says this heading is red, Second, par the first paragraph says this text is blue, and the second says this has a yellow background. But if we view that in the browser, it's not exactly true. It's all just black text, plain text. So we can add some inline styling here. We can use the style attribute. And then we can give that style attribute a property like color. And we have to use the American spelling here, C-O-L-O-R. And when we've used the color property, we can then give it a value like red. So this heading is going to be red. So we can give it a style. The style is going to be a color, which is red, okay? And that's pretty easy. That is basically how you apply inline styling to this heading. So I can save that and I can view it in the browser. And there we go, that heading is now red. Okay, we can do the same thing with the paragraph text. The paragraph tag, we can say style equals oops, color. So we use the color attribute. So we use the style um, attribute, the color property and this time the value will be blue. Okay, and for our uh, second paragraph, we can apply another style. And this time we're going to change the background color. So we put background color, background hyphen color, and it's going to be yellow. Save that and view in the browser. There we go. So we've got a red heading, blue paragraph, and then a uh, paragraph with a yellow background. We can also add multiple um, properties to a style. So I could have style color um, green and then semicolon and then background color yellow. View that again. Now we have green text with a yellow background for that paragraph. Now let's just have a look at the syntax here. We're using the style attribute then we have an equal sign and in quotation marks we use um, we'll, we use a property so we've got we've got color property here and then we've got the background color property here and then we have a colon and the actual value after the colon and to separate these different styles these different um, properties we put them uh, we put a semicolon between each property so there's a semicolon here to separate the color and the background color. Okay, so that's how we use inline styling. Now, while we're looking at colors, another thing to take note of is basic colors we can put in here just by naming them. So red, blue, green, yellow. But if we want to be a bit more specific, we can use HTML color codes to get a color code for a whole range of different colors. So heaps of different colors and shades we can pick and then we can get a color code like this. So 
The color code for this blue color is 1747D6. So I can copy that. And if I go back to Sublime Text, the color that is blue, I can have a slightly different blue. I can put in the hashtag and then paste that color code in. If I go back to Chrome, oops, open that page again. That text is a slightly different blue now using this color code. So make sure you use the hashtag, follow it by the color code. There's heaps of different color codes. It's a combination of six um, different letters and numbers. And you can get color codes from websites like this. So html-color-codes.info. All right, it's a really good website for easily picking different colors and then getting the code to put in your style. Okay, so this is inline styling. But there's another way of styling your web page. So say if we want to apply the same style to every single paragraph on this web page. Well, if we were using inline styling, we'd have to manually go to every single paragraph tag and type in the style there. So whatever color we want to have. So there's another way we can do it. So say if I want my headings to be red and all of my paragraphs to be blue. Um, so I want all of my paragraphs to be blue, all of my headings to be red. I can add the style within the, um, the head section of my web page. Okay. And the way that I do that is by using the style tag. Okay. Let's say uh, style type, oops, style type equals uh, text slash CSS. Now, with HTML5, this bit is optional. You can just use the style tag without saying type equals text slash CSS, but it's good practice to leave it in there anyway for uh, older browsers. So we've got style type equals um, text slash CSS. And then we close off that style tag down here. And then in the style section, we can add um, styles for different HTML elements or different HTML tags using a selector. So basically a selector tells the HTML what element we're trying to style. So for example, we're trying to style a heading or we're trying to style paragraphs. Okay, so we can use a selector to apply a style to all headings and all paragraphs by just using its tag name. So for example, in the style section, we can use the P selector for our paragraphs and then curly brackets and we can say color blue. All right, so P, we use the P selector for our paragraphs, curly braces and then the um, property, which is color, separated by a colon and then the actual value, which is blue separated by a, ended with a, um, a semicolon. That all goes between the style tags. So now if we uh, save this and view it in the browser, you can see that it's applied that blue uh, color style to every single paragraph on this page. And there's only two paragraphs. All right, we can also use the H1 selector to apply a style to headings. So we can say H1 color red. All right, if we go back, that color is now red. We can, on the next line after a semicolon, we can say background color. Uh, this time we might say uh, yellow. Okay, and now it's applied that uh, style to that heading. If I created another heading, say this is another heading, because I'm using the H1 tag, oops, need to save that. Because I'm using the H1 tag, it will also apply that style to that H1 tag. So wherever there's a paragraph, wherever there's a h1 tag 
it will apply these styles. But say if I use a H2 tag, put in a smaller heading using the H2 tag, save it and refresh, this heading will not have a yellow background and red text because we haven't applied a style to it. So this style here will only apply to headings within the H1 tag because we've used the H1 selector. Okay, so that is basically how to uh, add CSS to a web page using the inline styling method and the internal style sheet method. So this here is an internal style sheet. Okay, in the next tutorial, we'll look at how to um, use external style sheets to style our web pages. Thanks for watching.